Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dahlia Orth and I'm a system strategist and a HoneyBook Pro. And I love helping business owners build efficient, easy, and streamlined systems behind the scenes to gain back time and freedom in their lives. So if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe and never miss a beat with what's going on here on the channel. That will allow you to get updates on when I release a new video and you can stay in the loop. So in this video, I'm actually going to be talking about how to send invoices in HoneyBook. Invoices are one of the many templates you can actually build within your own HoneyBook account. And a lot of people say to me, but how do I actually send the invoice? How do I build the template? How do I do all of those things? So I'm going to do a brief walkthrough video for you on how to actually build an invoice, where to build an invoice in your HoneyBook account, and then how to send it to an actual real life client in a project in your own HoneyBook account. So of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And I would love to hear too, like what templates are your favorite in HoneyBook and what you have found to be most helpful. And there are of course some free resources as well that you can take advantage of. There's a jumpstart guide. If you are just getting started with HoneyBook and you wanna take 50% off your first year, that is below too. So make sure to take advantage of those and we will dive into this tutorial. All right, so we're gonna build an invoice here and I'm gonna actually show you how to send an invoice as well in your HoneyBook. So if you come into your account, you'll first come into your dashboard page and you'll click on tools, you go to my templates. Now we're gonna build this as a new smart file. So we're gonna click create an invoice. Now you can choose from different smart file options. If you want like different templates, there's an actual template gallery, but I'm gonna show you just briefly how to actually build this out and then how to send this within your HoneyBook account. I'm gonna delete this up here. I'm actually gonna add this here and I'm gonna go put an image in there for myself. And I'm gonna choose my logo right there. And then I'm just gonna make the padding a little smaller. And then if I wanted to, I could come in here and I can adjust the text like that if I wanted. I can center it for myself. And then I would come down here and choose what service I wanted to include. So let's say I wanted to do, I'm gonna type in workflow like that. And let's see if I have, so custom workflow and automation setup, right? So I'm gonna delete this one above. So I'm gonna build that out. This is my template. Um, it's not a reoccurring invoice. And then there's just this payment page right here. And I'm just gonna call it workflow invoice. Just going to say custom workflow invoice. Okay. So then one other thing I want to do, this is why I talk about the company theme being important is I'm actually going to put like a, just a thumbnail right here. I'm going to turn the security code off. That is my preference, but it's up to you if you want to turn it off or not. I'll click save and exit. And then lastly, I want to make sure that I just apply my co company theme, which is down here and I'll click save to that. And I just want to update this. So now that I have this template made, I can go in and use it on my projects with my clients. So if I come back here and I go to project, let's try to see, we're going to go and find a test one. Okay. So we're going to use this test project right here and we're going to unarchive it so that we can use it in here. And I'm going to click create new and I'm going to click invoice. And now that I built that invoice out, I can actually use this template for myself. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna click, this all looks good because it's pretty much templated. If I need to adjust my payment schedule, I can at the bottom and I just click share. And then now that I have my email templates in here too, I'm just gonna pick from my email templates down here. So I'm just gonna use this as an example. And this one is good to go. So now I can just click send and I can just easily send my invoice out to my clients, no problem, after building out that template and then being able to send it directly from their project. So of course, any questions, leave a comment below and let me know and I'm happy to answer those. And let me know too, if you use the invoices in your own business and how they work for you. 